Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to try to explain how to uh, remove the copyright issues that you get on video on YouTube. Uh, on audio is fairly easy, but I will also go through them, but on video is a little bit more complicated. Uh, the other day I was doing a live stream and I got flagged with some video stuff. Uh, apparently either they didn't get the sound of the video or they only analyzed the video. Anyways, I got a very weird copyright uh, claim where I would go to the copyright claim here and uh, instead of the usual audio stuff, which I'll hopefully will show on this video, instead of just showing this thing that it's an audio claim, it said a video claim. And on the video claim, you had no select option to erase the song. There is no video equivalent of that to just put a black screen on on the part that is infringing copyright, supposedly. Of course, you can also dispute if you're indeed using it as a, in, in a way that is uh, valid, if it's fair use or something like that, you can file a dispute. If you lose the dispute, you, you get a copyright strike on your channel. So be wary of that. Uh, it's better to just avoid things, these kind of things altogether. But anyways, it was this video in particular. I don't know why this time when I tried to do it, it only noticed the audio and not the video. But I will show you how to remove the video as well, because there is some some quirks with it. It was driving me crazy and I spent some time trying to make this work. So what you do, you go to the video itself, you can edit things there. And um, on the video itself, you go to advanced, I guess. No, you go to the editor here. This uh, the, the better version of uh, YouTube editor is quite shitty. Then you can go down here. You have to scroll on this menu thing here. You can go down and you can add a blur. So what this will do is it only has two options. It will go to the old uh, classical view uh, where you would typically go to enhancements and change stuff. Uh, you can trim parts of the video, you can blur faces of people which I never used before, and you can do some custom blurring. This is the one I tried to use. So you can try to edit stuff, and you go to this weird screen that says hit space key to pause the video. Uh, you can pause it, indeed, uh, the space works, and you can go forward and backwards on the video, you can scrub it. So this is the part that I want to edit out. and. Uh, Typically, what this blurring thing does is that it tracks the image that you're trying to blur out. So it works, for example, if you want to blur out a license plate on one of your videos. You track it on the first frame, you do like this on the first frame, and automatically it will track the key points of that. And as it moves along the video, this will also move along the video to different parts and do different things. And this is usually the kind of uh, use that you want to give. Shut up, cat. I'm trying to film. This is the type of use you usually want to give. But on my particular case, I wanted to affect this entire screen and not uh, change. So I'm going to try to delete this. And then this happens. It freezes the whole fucking browser and you can't do anything. Yeah, so this is what happened to me a, long, uh, a lot of times before. I'm going to do... I'm gonna yeah okay so I managed to close this and this was the issue I was having when you try to skip frames back and forth the browser just freezes you have to wait for JavaScript to do whatever it's doing or for the server to send a message or whatever it's doing on the back end because it's doing all these complicated processes to track the image and then give you back a preview which doesn't really work and if it's on a lot of frames it's even worse so it's it's complicated um can i oh the browser is still screwing up let's try refreshing this page it tried to load up the custom blurring again let's do this on another page close this one all together it doesn't so see very unresponsive use okay let's hopefully this will work now pause this custom blurring so this is what you do to just have the standard blur on the specific place. Uh, first, you have to pause the video because you don't want to be. You go to the first frame you want to start it on. Uh, you click on somewhere on the screen. It will create this little window. You drag it to the place you want. You fill it up. 
It's already screwing up. Shit. Okay. You drag it to where you want. Come on. The problem is it's selecting too many frames. And this is what's what's the issue is. Like it's trying to automatically select where this box goes away, where the tracking thingy goes. And what I actually want to do, I want to lock this window into place. Once it's locked into place, it will stay there, hopefully. So now I can scrub the video and you see that the box is always stand still. And now there is no box over there. I'm gonna, I can make the box easier uh, or, or smaller. The thing is that I had to lock this first, which is was my first mistake when I was first trying to do the other thingy. So uh, if I don't lock it, it, it everything just becomes unresponsive. Um, and my belief is that it's unresponsive until it can calculate all the frames that it will do the tracking properly to then show you the proper preview. But on my specific case that I would just want this, uh, this specific window, it's easier like this. So lock, that's what you need to do. You need to come here and lock. And if you don't see this, you have to zoom in using this slider here. So do that the first time, locate the frames you want it to, to be on. If it's from, I don't know, until, in my case, I wanted to do until this was playing. So until two minutes. So I zoom in until I see two minutes and now I can put it until there. And now I have all this part and this selection will be blurred. So if you click done, you have custom blurring. It actually is wrong because it's the problem of the lock. If you click lock before you move the thing, you can see here that it's only uh, blurring that region and not the entire thing. So you can see that this whole thing is very buggy, beta kind of thing. I'm gonna pause this again. I'm gonna try to select this and open this up. And hopefully this time it will save the setting. Nope. Let's just stop it, delete it, create a new one. Zoom in. I want to do this before I lock. Do this, lock it. It jumped back. I think that's okay because I can stretch it now. If it wouldn't have frozen. So you can see it's a very user-friendly user process that you can use this blur thing for. Come on. Okay, now I can, this changes the thing. I want to select this and now I want to open it up. Okay, until the four frames, select this, scrub. I want to see the preview. Okay, I'm done here. Should be around two minutes. Where does the screen go? Okay, let's try to find it. Okay, here, so I want to end it here. Let's see if it works properly this time. Do this, click okay. Come on, please work. Yes, so see it's not very intuitive. It's buggy like hell, but this is what you need to do if you want to blur this part. And once you have this part uh, blurred out, you can save you can save on top of this video, which I wouldn't recommend. What I would recommend is that you keep this video with the video copyright claim intact, but private in your account and then save as a new video and just to, uh, and don't delete the other one, just save and it will save as a copy. It's working. Yeah, so it's copying this one and it's gonna upload and apply the blur automatically. So this is what you need to do if you want to get rid of those video claims. Of course, the audio one, I already told you that it's quite easy, quite easy. just select, uh, remove the, the, the sound. Like if you go here, 
uh, come on. You can just click remove song uh, on in the new beta editor thing from YouTube. It's slightly different place where you can click, but you still have the option of remove song. Um, also, one of the issues I had that I wanted to talk about is that you have no way, or I had no way at least, to download the video while it was private. And it was impossible for me to make it public because of the video copyright claim that would just hide it in every country. So... I don't know if that's the reason why I couldn't download it. All I know is that I had no option here to download. Same as this video doesn't have any option to download it. If I go to older videos, I have downloaded MP4, MP4. On the current one that was having the copyright claim, it didn't have. I don't know if it needs to wait a little, some days, for it to be available to download as MP4. If it needs to be public. What the issue is, all I knew is that on the video, on the video copyright uh stream that I had I could not do the download so I couldn't edit it offline I had to use this blur tool inside YouTube and it, it drove me mad for for quite a long time because of the whole tracking thing once I learned the trick with the lock then if things sort of became easier but as you saw when I was trying to edit it now it's still not perfect far from it so so yeah Hope this video was useful. Uh, hope you guys uh, learned how to do this little edit to to uh, solve the issue with copyright infringements uh, that you get on YouTube. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.